Who's Amaka? Eh? What is wrong with him? Why is he running with his bags in such a hurry? I don't know. Maybe the village has become too hot for him. Ha. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious he's running away? Anyways, I can't blame him. Mm. Who wouldn't run away after all the problems and attacks he had in this village? Mm. Well, better for him. Please, let's mind our business and leave those who deceive themselves with the Bible like Pastor Tom. Samaka, why will you say so? Samaka. <coughs> God. Could it be that he has run away? This one everywhere is locked. Wow. Guess now. I'm no good in guessing. Tell me. Papa, hmm? on my way to the stream, hmm. I saw Pastor Tom running away from this village with fear written all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure he did not have a peaceful night. Hmm. Yes, I warned him. I warned him when I killed the eight months child. Eh? And when the wife ran away from this village, he refused to live with her. Eh? Do you think he can take over this land from me? Papa, you needed to see him. If you see the way he was running there, eh, it was as if his heart wanted to jump out of his chest. Rosa <laughs> Makama, I own this land. Eh? Nobody can take it from me. Anybody who tries to challenge my spiritual authority will face the wrath of Ikolo. Eh? The deity of destruction. Yes. Oh, money will. I trust you, Papa. I am very proud of you. <laughs> Nobody in this village has ever challenged you. I live to tell the story. Mama, <laughs> 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 you, <know what? laughs> you know what? I'll go and prepare my breakfast. Then you go and look for something to appease Ikolo tonight. You know? Go. <laughs> hey! Pastor Tom, the crew, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> See, Akuna. 
I do not blame him. Yes, I don't blame him. Ever since he entered this community, all he has faced is problems here and there. Eh? He lost his family in this community. And every day he's tormented. Um, Kem, I think maybe they should just close the church in this community. Eh? No pastor has lasted more than three months. No. And tell me, without a pastor, one name, how would the village church progress? Eh? <clears throat> uh, my father said that a new pastor would be sent from headquarters. That news is not even important. After all, the pastor will not even stay long before he takes to his heels. <laughs> you, are, you are right, my brother. You are right. Uh, but the major problem here is that there will be no pastor that will even accept to come to this our community. This our community. After all they have heard about the previous pastors. <laughs> I were in their shoes, I would never even accept to come to a community such as this. You see, the strange power in this community is just too much. It's too much, my brother. And that is why, you see, there is no progress at all. No progress. Eh? No progress. <clears throat> it's only God that can save us in this community. It's only God that can save us in this community. So, like this, there will be no more church services in this community till a new pastor comes. <laughs> After the, the pastor ran away, do you even think here will allow anyone to come to church? Nobody will come. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. Welcome, Pastor. In fact, we are very happy that you accepted to come to our village. Uh, uh, Mama, as you can see, you are here. We are very, very happy. Huh? You are welcome once again. Thank you. Elder. This is where pastors are living. So, you are welcome once again. Thank you. Elder, you see, um, once the man answers the call of God, he has no choice of where to serve the Lord. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So, um, since the Lord has sent me to this community, I have no choice. I just have to come and do his work. Um, I want to apologize for my wife not being here with us. But I assure you, in no distant time, she will join us. She's still working on her posting. Yes. Uh, with time, she will join us here. Thank um, you, There is no problem. Don't worry if I'm able to. You are welcome once again. And um, this is my son. He will help to take you people around this our village. Hmm? Anything that you people want, just let him know. I believe we will provide it. Hmm? You are welcome once again. Elder, uh, the moment we stepped into this community, the Lord opened my eyes to show me the darkness covering this very community. This community is under siege. The enemy has held this community captive for years. But, but at this point, the time of liberation has come. The Lord God Almighty that I serve is here to liberate this community. The church is marching on and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. So the God we serve will give us victory in this battle. So please, I would like to have a meeting with all the elders. Um, you are welcome once again. Huh? I will send words to other elders. Hmm? I believe we are going to come together 
to have a meeting, at least tomorrow. And um, I will get back to you so that you will join us. Thank you. You are welcome once again. Thank you. Yes. This one you are still spreading the corn. I hope we'll still have uh, some corn meal for lunch. Yes, Papa, it's still remaining. Uh, okay. Papa, this one your face is like this. How did the elders meeting go? Yeah. It went well as usual. Hmm? You know, nobody can tell us why. Decision. Hmm? Nobody can pass my decision in the meeting. Even the king. Because they know the consequences. Yes. Bo Papa, I heard the new pastor arrive today. I saw it uh, in the spiritual realm before they discussed about that in the meeting. I knew it was coming. Papa, I'm worried. You have a new rival. <laughs> Come. Look, you should know your father by now. You don't have to be worried. Nobody challenges me in this village. Eh? Yes, a new pastor is here. He's not the first. And he will not be the last. Eh? If he tries to misbehave, or to show who he is. And he will run away like others. <laughs> trust with them by your father. <laughs> okay, Papa, I trust you. Eh? Uh, please, go and get me your food. I hope you have enough food for me. Hmm? Papa. Mom, you, can get you know? That you have known this part better. I hope you won't get lost next time. Ah, never. You know, I'm a very smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> smart indeed. You are really smart. I can see that. Mm. So, tell me, what is it like being a pastor's son? Life as a pastor's son is not easy. You see, being a pastor's son is not easy. Hmm? I really, I really envy you guys whose parents are not pastors. Like you guys are living the life I want. <laughs> are you sure about this? I'm very, very sure about that. Um, Kim, being a pastor's son, 
makes you obligated to always put up a holy attitude to others so they won't see you as a very bad um, example you know is just like living a very restricted life i have to hide um, my girlfriend from my dad i didn't even attend clubs in the city and now they have brought my father to this village uh, i hope you people have fine girls in this village <laughs> Obina, fine girl. I thought you were a pastor's son. Why are you talking about fine girls? See, where is it written that a pastor's child should not have a girlfriend? Okay. Yeah? You see, anyway, we have so many beautiful girls in this village, so you don't have to worry. That's very nice. I think I'll enjoy my stay in this place. <laughs> uh, Obina, my friend. Anyway, school resumes soon. And you have a lot of beautiful girls that you choose from. That's a very good thing to hear. And I think uh, we need to start going home yeah, before that start looking for us. Timothy is our problem in this land. Yes, we cannot sit and watch Timothy hmm? talk over this land from us. And my name is You will not allow that to happen. Where is it? I'm going to nab and I can book away. You have to go and fight. Yes, we have to fight the war together. You could, the great deity of destruction will destroy him. We are going to destroy Timothy this night. <laughs> he does not know more about this, uh, this uh, village. Eh? We are going to fight the war. Eh? We are going to fight the war. Hey! Timothy. Timothy. That your God will disappoint you. That your God will disappoint you this night. Eh? Ready? Be prepared. This night, I'm going to destroy that your God this night. Ah! Oh, oh, money cheating. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. What are you doing? I'm okay, okay, okay. Ah! I don't know you. I'm going to get my hands on my phone. I'm going to get my hands Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's why so you're looking around. Is anything the problem? What is wrong? I felt the presence of a visitor, a strange visitor. Strange. Why praying last night? I felt the presence of a strange visitor. But the God I serve will not allow this visitor to have its way. Of course, that is very, very vigilant. Where is Obina? Uh, I think he's still sleeping inside. Still sleeping? Huh? Oh, Obina! Obina! Papa, what happened? I tried to penetrate his house. No way. I couldn't penetrate his home. I did everything within my reach. But no way. Papa, are you talking about the new pastor? Yes. That young man is spiritually. I did everything to penetrate him. His family. No way. Everything around that man is hot. Even as hard as building, is hot. For the first time, for the first time, I am experiencing such spiritual man. But this is serious. But this is serious. So what are we going to do about it? I think this is the right time for you to come in. How, Papa? You know I'm yet to master the ways of Ikolo, our ancestral deity. How do I fight him? Ah, I am not giving out the fight to you, my daughter. Hmm? I only want you to prove yourself to me and Ikolo. I am going to hand you over a task. Thanks. What are you talking about, Papa? You have to deliver that young man and the family to me.
elder you see the bible in the book of second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 it says that the weapon of our warfare are not carnal they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds of the enemy there is a stronghold in this community and that is why we are here as a church to pull down that stronghold and set this community free um pastor it's true we need prayers sure we really need prayers in fact we need prayers now more than ever maybe it's because of what happens to other pastors that came before you as you can see our people have lost faith in the church we really need prayers and you have to help us that is why i am here we shall continue to intensify prayers we will not give up the bible says that we should pray in season and out of season darkness can never overshadow light the church is light so the bible says that even the lawful captive shall be set free so we we'll continue to pray. We as a church, we're going to embark on massive evangelism. So talk to other elders. Everybody must come out for this evangelism. Let's talk to people and try to bring them back to church. Let's try to build that faith again. Let them believe in the church. Believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, Pastor, what you said is true. And I will continue. I will even suggest for us to, you know, do something like crusade. It will also help. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That's so, another good idea. Uh, uh, I thank you for the ideas and how you are helping our people to, you know, get back their faith. So, I thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Bless you. Yeah. What I'm trying to say. Hi. Hi. I've been alright. Yes, I'm all been now. Um, do I know you? No, you don't, but I know you. You seem lost. Well, uh yeah, I'm actually lost. Now I was trying to locate in Kema Kolam's house, but uh I got lost along the way and I can't even find my way back home. <laughs> okay, but you know you really shouldn't be walking around these parts alone. You're still a new bed in town. Um, yes, I know that already. But you know, I, that's what I'm trying to learn to, you know, navigate my way around this whole village. You know, Kemakolam is the only friend I have in this village, and he's always busy with his father in the farm, and there is no one to show me around. Um, I don't know if you could be my friend, so you can, you know, show me around the whole village. Are you are you begging or you're coming? No no no, no. I'm, I'm actually begging. Okay. okay, okay. I'll show you around for now, but every other thing will come later. Maybe we could start with the name. My name is Uzamaka. Come, let me take you home. I have an errand song for my father. Alright. Lead the way.
I believe you know where you are now. Yes, and uh, thank you very much. Okay, um, I'll be on my way now. I've already spent a lot of time and my father must be looking for me. It's alright, Uzamaka. We'll see you again. Okay, you can go now. Um, you can go, I know my way from here. so long eh I wanted to come to the market to check on you I'm sorry Papa Papa on my way coming back from the market I met Obina and we talked for a while oh, who is Obina Papa Obina now I don't know, I don't know Pastor Timothy's son oh. <laughs> uh, you mean you met Obina yes. Pastor Timothy's son yes Oh, that is good. Hmm? You are now up to the task. Yes, Papa. Eh? <laughs> you know what? He thinks he's smart and prayerful. I will show him that he's not. Uh, but uh, I think uh, he'll be nice, friendly. Yes, Papa, he's friendly. We talked for a while, and Papa, guess what? Mm. He asked to see me again. Wow, that is it. <laughs> Don't fail him. Eh? Don't. Make sure you bring him closer to you. Eh? If he asks for any appointment, don't fail the appointment. Keep the appointment. Okay? Look, I want to use him as a point of contact to get the pastor. Eh? I'll deal with him. By the time I finish dealing with him, eh? he's going to run away from this village and leave it for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Papa, I will do anything to make you happy. That's my daughter. <laughs> you are now doing the task. Yes. Hmm? You are now keeping to the task. Eh? You see, uh, you can, as you can see, I'll finish um, arranging the firewood for you. Yes. Eh? You just go inside and prepare our dinner. Eh? Because I want to go and see Ajondo, my friend. Eh? Okay, I want to tell him the good news. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, what of the uh, firewood? Should I help you and bring them? Help me now. Uh, uh, that's my daughter will help you. <laughs> hey, my daughter. She said I should help her. Hey! Hey, boy! Esther, you needed to see her. She is very beautiful. I think I've gotten myself a new friend in this huh. village. Obina. Obina, when will you change? Daddy have warned you not to have a girlfriend and he has also told us to be very very careful in this community but you will not listen. Esther, we are humans and we can't isolate ourselves. Nkema Kolam is the only friend I have in this village but he's always busy with his father in the farm and I can't always be alone like you. I even wonder how you cope. I am not isolated. Hmm? We have ourselves. And besides, this girl you speak so highly of, what is her name? Um, Uzamaka. Yes, Uzamaka. <laughs> Uzamaka. Oh, Uzamaka. Is she a member of our church? Who are her parents? 
to be sincere, I didn't ask her about all those stuffs. But uh, I think next time I see her, you know, I just met her recently. I need to ask her about all those stuffs next time. Obina, Obina, Daddy has warned us several times. But you are paying deaf ears. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Esther. Everything is fine. Nothing is happening. Okay, ever since we got here, have you seen anything unnatural? Everything is happening perfectly well. Uh, uh, besides, what did you even cook? I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> no, you're not hungry yet. Because if you were to be hungry, you would go inside the kitchen and get yourself food. Esther, so you cannot just go inside and dish food for me. No, no, come okay, back. Come and stand. Uh -huh. Are you going? Oh, no, come on, let me serve you food. Eh? Because you're all being now. person. I've never felt this way for anybody before. Ozamaka, don't allow your father to hear you say that. He will kill you. You know his hatred towards the church. I know, I know my father hates the church. But there is nothing I can do to change the way I feel for Obina whenever I see him. I think I truly love him. Hey! <laughs> Uzamaka, you are in love. <laughs> My friend, just get it off. Eh? You know it will not work. Your father will not allow it to work. You will only end up hurting yourself. You think I don't know that? Eh? You think I don't know? But there is nothing I can do about it. I know my father hates the church so much. Well, I can't just explain where this funny feeling is coming from. I love Obina so much and I can't change that. It's, it's, it's eating deep into me. See my friend, I will advise you. Get rid of whatever feelings you have. Destroy any funny feelings you have towards Obina. In fact, stop seeing him at all. Cut him off totally from your life. It's for your own good. I can't. Would you? I can't. I, I don't know what to say, but I can't. For my feelings and for my obligations, I just can't. What obligations are you talking about? You will not understand. Let's, let's just go and fetch one now.
Mama, good afternoon. How are you doing, my daughter? Fine. Mama, let me help you with your bag. Oh. Uh, Dad, Mel. Hey. Dad. Mama, just take it easy. Uh, thank you. Thanks for that. Thank you. Uh, problem. Just take it easy, eh? Uh, you Hey. You're a nice girl. <laughs> No problem, Mama. Eh? Just Your take it easy. Your parents must be lucky. <laughs> hey, I was just you know, I was coming from a very far distance. Don't worry. Uh, I'll wait here for my son. Okay. He will still come and meet me. Uh, you can go home to meet your parents before they start looking for you. Uh, you are the daughter of the new pastor, right? Yes, ma'am. idea at all. 
is not a good idea. Yeah? This girl's father is one of those that doesn't want church in this community. And you are telling me you want to be friends with her. Yeah? Um, okay, Mark on it is her father and not her. She is not the one fighting the church. Neither is she the one that is against having a church in this community. And besides, I really like her. I really do. You really like her? You really do? I hope you know. What do your father say about this? My father this, my father that, my father this, my father that. Eh? Must my father know about this? He's too busy with church activities. He doesn't have time for such issues. Obina. Obina. See, I still find this very difficult to accept. I find it very difficult to accept this. Eh? This is a very bad idea. Very bad idea. Even her father will not accept this. You worry too much. You worry too much. Why would you? What has our parents got to do with this? They don't even have any business in any of this. And besides, uh, her father doesn't need to know about this as well. Okay. Okay. I've heard you. I've heard you. But Obina, you need to be very careful this friendship with Uzamaka. Please, be very careful. Eh? Wadanya, Biko. I've heard you. But, uh, Mke, hmm? we even planned on meeting this evening. <laughs> hey, my pastor. Eh? <laughs> you both are not taking this easy at all. Though. Hey! See, Pastor son in love. She's a, she's a very good girl. Eh? She's a very eh. good girl. I, I know what I'm telling you. You fall again, love. Coming back. Why, why, what took you so long? Uh, I met an old woman on my way going to the market, so I decided to help her with her bag. So she now gave me this orange. She gave you this oranges? Yes, sir. Gosh, this oranges are full of darkness. That woman is a witch. Do you know her? No, I have never seen that face before. No weapon formed against my household shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. That woman is a witch. She's a witch. Thank God you've not taken the orange. Now listen. Tell this to your brother as well. From now henceforth, we should not be collecting anything from anybody. Okay, that's no problem. Exactly. Yes, that's Dispose this on my way out. Okay, no problem. I'll, I'll see where you come back. The word of God says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And any mouth that shall rise against us in judgment, we shall condemn. I stand by the reason of the anointing. But the word of God says that anointing breaks the yoke. I decree and I declare that every negative power is embedded in these oranges. I neutralize you and I cast you back to hell where you belong in the name of Jesus. God says that my servants are flames of fire. We shall tread the most serpents that fall.
my love. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. It's fine, I'm not offended. You know, they said um, good things happen to those who wait. So I'll gladly wait. You're funny. And that's why I like you. Sorry, I love you. Uzamaka. I love you too. And my heart shines for you with each passing day. My heart also wants you to, every time. I think of you more than I think of any other thing these days. I love you so much, Uzo. I can't hide my feelings any longer. And I have never felt this way for any other person in my entire life. I love you too, Bina. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12 that as many as receive him to them he gave power to become the sons of God. The moment you accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you automatically have that power as a child of God to live above sin. So you see, you need to come back to the church. You don't need to be afraid of anything. Come back to the church. Christ is the only way to heaven. So fear should not be seen in any child of God. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1, it says that there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. So you are not condemned. No matter what people are saying around you, no matter what is happening around you, as long as you are in Christ, you are not condemned. You are saved. Who is that lady? That's Uzuamaka, daughter of Udemba. I can see darkness moving around her. Darkness. The Lord is ministering to me that she needs help. Good afternoon. Uzamaka. Where are you coming from? Papa, I went out to draw. Did you see Obina today? Yes, Papa. Uzamaka. That man is proving to be a hard nut to crack. But Everything solely depends on you. You have to do everything to gain him. Love him. Okay, Papa. I'm working on it. And he's beginning to trust me totally. I know that the battle is tough. But I must do everything to retain my authority. And it is only you that can do that for me. You can go. is very very dangerous but you will not listen to him now that school is about to resume you're not going to carry your book and be reading all you do is to go around sneak out you want to go and see friend i want to go and see, go and see in kema column i want to go and see my friend in kema column i have been indoors all day 
Is it bad for me to go and receive fresh air? Well, that's not my business. Once Zaddy come back and ask of you, I'll just tell him that you're not around. Better be careful and come back on time. I had to pass my sister's um, log interrogations with, you know, adequate lies before she could um, allow me to leave the house today. Mr. Uh, Sun, well, I'm glad you're here now. Same here. How have you been? Well, um, I would say I have been fine. Just that. Uh, my father has been organizing a lot of church activities and uh, there have been a lot of church plannings. So he's been taking a lot of my time uh, recently. Church plannings? Yeah. Uh, is, is your father planning a feast or some church occasion? See, actually, uh, my father, you know, is organizing this church revival program. More like a crusade for the community in order to bring more people to the church. Crusade? That's, that's nice, that's nice. Enough about the church. Let's talk about us. Have your father accepted to register in your school here? Guess what? <coughs> what? My father spoke with the principal. And I think one school resumes, I'll be in the same school with you. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see you every single day. Same here, my love. Planning crusade. Hmm. I will make sure that it will not hold in this community. So, Papa, what are we going to do about it? Hi. That is what I will think. Uh, did he tell you the date and the where? The crusade will take place. Okay. No, Papa, he didn't. But they started preparations for it already. Uh, so it should be soon. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think I'll do something. I will do something. Banana. Yeah. Do this. Bah. It can. Do something. Banana. Bam, 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 bam. Hey! That's good. That's good. Huh? Make sure I keep this match with stick on your table. Good evening, Daddy. Obina. Daddy. Where are you coming from? Where did you say you were going when you left this house? Daddy, I went to see my friend in Kemakolam. In Kemakolam, you claim that you went to see, came here looking for you. Now, Obo, ah, tell me the truth now. Where are you coming from? Daddy, I, I went to see another friend of mine. But, but I went to see in, in Kemakola more. He wasn't around. So I had to go and, and visit the other friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So, who is this friend of yours? Does he or she have a name or not? Daddy, her name is Uzamaka, but, but, but she's just a friend. Uzamaka. So in Christ, you are not condemned, you are saved. Who is that lady? 
That's Uzuamaka. Not of Dimba. I can see darkness moving around her. The Lord is ministering to me, but she needs help. Now, listen. I want that relationship to end this minute. She's a daughter sworn to the devil by her family. So I want that relationship to end this minute. End it. If I'm a battle, you go look. I know Baka. I know Kobatala and all Baka. Yeah, if I'm not you. What is the What is the name? 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 What is the son of the name? <laughs> we are going to use him as a point of contact to the father. He thinks he's smart and prayerful. But this night, <laughs> the solution is here. Hey, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 i <laughs> yes. Yes. This bead will be a point of contact. Away. Who's Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Take this. Give it to Obina. Hmm? Make sure he gets it. Hmm? At least to the level we have access to the home. Shut up there! Now what's my business if he hurts him? Eh? I gave you an instruction, you are questioning me. If he hurts him, that's my business. Give him this speed.
I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to wait for my father to go out before I sneak out from the house to come and meet you. It's it's fine, you're here now. And my father found out about us. And he warned me not to see you anymore. But that's his business. It's not my business. Nothing. Like nobody can stop our love. We are together in this. Zamaka. Mm -hmm. What is it? Nothing. I'm just thinking about what you're saying. I have told you, do not worry about this. You shouldn't bother yourself about my father. We are together in this. What's that? It's a bead. I bought it for you. It's a token of my love for you. Uzamaka. This is so beautiful. And I really love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I think I'll have to get you a gift myself. What do you want? Have you been? Daddy has been looking for you everywhere. It's not been long I went out. I went for a stroll. Mm, stroll indeed. And uh, where is daddy? Has he gone out? Yes, he has gone out. He went for evening prayers in the church. I had to stay back because you were not around. And two, I needed to wash these clothes. It's already late. I don't think I'll be going for today's evening prayer again. Eh, uh, it's okay now, there's no problem. Besides, Daddy is always praying. So his prayers will cover both of us. <laughs> Says a man inspired by laziness. Tina, what is this? This is very beautiful. Huh? And it looks very good on me. Where did you get it from? I got it from the markets this afternoon while I was coming back. Wow. It looks very beautiful on me. I know it looks good on you. But uh, Esther, you have to give me back this bead. I'll mm. get you a more attractive bead later. Uh -uh. No, I'm not giving you. Eh? When you buy another one, then you can take this one. But give me this bead. No, no, I'm not giving you. My daughter was healthy and sound yesterday. How could she be dead today? Um, what explanations will I give to my wife? 
How do I tell her? I mean, about this, what will I tell her? Mm. Mm. You have to take it easy. Let me explain this. You have to take it easy. Hmm? Have to take heart. All I know is that God will expose all the evil men, all the evil people in this village. All the people that are evil in this village will be exposed. You know this that time. I'm, I'm sorry for the loss of your sister, my love. Please don't be too hard on yourself. It's fine. I believe she's in a better place with the Lord now. All is going to be well. 
Are you... Are you with the gift I gave you? Yeah. The bead. I managed to take it from her hands after she died. What happened? Why are you taking the bead from me? Nothing. I got you a better one. Have this. I'll hold on to this one while you wear this one now. If you say so. It's going to be fine. I know you're strong and brave. You'll get through this. What are you talking about? It was my father. It was my father all along. My, my father has been my father has been the one killing all the pastors that visited this land. He, 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 he wanted to be in charge spiritually. He, he, he's, he's a wizard. And he initiated me into his coven. And he also made me swear an oath never to tell anybody. Please, I'm sorry. Please help me. Uh, so, where is your father now? He's dead. My, 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 my father is dead. The beat killed him. Uh, where is the beat? It is in his shrine. It was it was the pit that 
that killed your daughter. I'm sorry for giving me. Like my father gave me the bit to, to, to give to Obin Na, but I, I never knew he wanted to. I never knew he wanted to kill Obin Na. So when, so when I found out, I, co I collected the bit from Obin Na and I, I kept it back in my father's shrine. So my father went to do enchantment through the bit and it, it, it bounced back and killed my father. Pastor, please forgive me. Pastor, please. Please, please help me, Pastor. Please forgive me. Help me. For this reason, I have come to this community. And for this reason, Christ died for us. Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, is free. And I give God the glory for this mighty work of deliverance. Glad that a day like this has come that this community shall be delivered from the hands of the devil. 